Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft video with me, Scorpios. And this week I am back with this beautiful greenhouse design. And as always, this greenhouse is my original design. And I have made this design as simple as possible. So you can build this greenhouse using only dark oak wood and some glass blocks. So without further ado, let's jump right into the building process. We are going to start by laying down a foundation that looks exactly like what you are seeing on the screen here. So to start building this greenhouse, we are just going to first put down one layer of dark oak planks all the way around. This is going to give us a very nice foundation. And after that, as you can see here, we are just going to come over to this block right here. So we are just going to put down exactly five dark oak planks right above this corner right here and as for the rest of this wall we are going to skip one block and put down one dark oak plank right here and on the other half of this wall we are going to put down two more dark oak planks and after that we're just going to make sure that all of these wooden columns are built to exactly five blocks tall all right and after that we're going to start working on the other walls of this greenhouse so as you can see here we're going to come over to this corner right here and once again, we're just going to put down five dark oak planks. And for this particular greenhouse design, each side of this greenhouse is going to look exactly the same. So as you can see here, we're just going to repeat the same design on all four sides of this foundation here. And now that we have a rough structure in place, the next step is to add details to this wooden structure. So here, I'm going to start by putting down these dark oak stairs. I'm just going to put them down along the bottom layer of these wooden columns. And as you can see here, after that I am going to be doing the same thing along the top edges of these wooden columns as well. So I'm just going to be putting down these upside down dark oak stairs. And after you have placed down these upside down dark oak stairs, another thing that you can also do is to take out your dark oak slabs and connect the top edges of these upside down dark oak stairs exactly like what I am doing on the screen right here and as you can see here the end result is going to be this large ring that goes all the way around the top edge of the existing structure and now that we have a nicely built wooden frame, the next thing is to turn these wooden frames into windows. And this step is pretty straightforward. So as you can see here, all that I'm doing is literally putting in these glass blocks in between the gaps of this wooden frame. And here the glass portions of this first floor is also going to be five blocks tall. So here I'm just going counterclockwise and filling in all of the gaps in between with the exception of the panel that is at the center of each wall as you can see here. And basically for the time being I am going to leave these panels open and we're just going to go ahead and finish building the first floor here. Alright, and after that we are going to start working on the second floor of this greenhouse. And we're going to start by extending the platform out by one block like this. And on this corner block that we have just placed down, we are going to place another dark oak plank on top. And we're going to top it off with a dark oak fence on top. Alright, and after that, diagonally inward, we are going to place down two more dark oak planks. And as you can see here, on top of the third dark oak plank, we are going to place down another dark oak slab. As you can see here, we're just going to repeat the same process on all four corners of this structure here. And once that is complete, we are going to start moving on to the next step. So this step is actually pretty simple. As you can see here, we're just going to start by putting down one dark oak slab on each corner here. And as we build towards the center of this structure, we're going to increase the height of this structure half a block at a time. And everything is going to meet perfectly at the center here. In my case, I am using an upside down dark oak stair block as the block in the middle. But you can also use a half slab or a dark oak plank. And just to add some complexity to the structure, I am also going to put down a bunch of dark oak fences in the middle here. And once again, as you can see here, we're just going to repeat the same process for each one of the entrances of this greenhouse. So here I'm going to slow this down so that you can see this process unfold one more time.
And for the next step, we are going to come over to this block right here. And we're just going to be placing down these dark oak slabs diagonally like this. And as you can see here, we will place down two slabs on each side of this center block. After placing down two blocks, we are going to switch over to the other side and place two more slabs. And as we continue to repeat this process on each corner, we will also connect these structures by placing down a straight line of these dark oak slabs. And as you can see here, the final result should be this small ring that goes all the way around the inside of this greenhouse. And as for the next step, we're going to start in this corner right here. And we're going to place down one wooden block right here and a bunch of more wooden blocks along this edge here and as for the middle portion here as you can see here we are going to fill this part with a glass but first let's make sure that the wooden support structure underneath is complete and on top here we are going to have a layer of seven glass blocks going all the way across and on the second layer here there's going to be three glass blocks going across and on top here we're just going to cover everything up using a combination of dark oak planks and dark oak slabs as you are seeing here so we're just going to make sure that everything is nice and covered and after that we're going to come over to the next corner right here and what we're going to do is to put down some additional wooden planks just to cover up these glass blocks like this so once you have completed this once or twice the process will become pretty familiar to you and as you can see here once again, we are just going to repeat the same process on each side of this structure. And in my case, I'm going to finish on this corner right here. And after that, we are going to start working on a dome for this greenhouse. We are going to come over to this block at the center of this side of this wall right here and we're going to build one block inward on the same level as the existing structure. And on top of that, one dark oak plank and another dark oak slab so that this column here will be one and a half block taller than the existing structure. So as you can see here, we're going to be doing the same thing for each side of the walls here. And we're also going to come over to the corners here. And on this center block of each one of the corners, we're going to place down a similar wooden column. We're just going to bring it up to the same height. And after that, we're just going to fill in all of the walls here with glass blocks and we're just going to build them all the way along the ring structure that we had placed down earlier. And as you can see here, we're going to continue to add more layers. So we're going to come over to this column here and we're going to start by putting down one dark oak plank right here and one more dark oak plank and another dark oak slab on top. And it gets a little tricky for the corner blocks here. So as you can see here, we're going to start by placing down these two half slabs. And on top of that, another dark oak plank so that there's a, a total of two dark oak planks and another dark oak slab on top like this. And as you can see here, we are going to end up with eight columns in total. And in between these columns, once again, we're going to take out our glass blocks. And using glass blocks, we're going to connect these columns like this. So this glass wall is going to be two blocks tall. But for the corners here, I'm just going to have one glass block. All right, and let's go around and cover this whole section up. And as we continue to build up these wooden columns, we're actually going to reduce the height of these columns. And that is what is going to give this dome its signature shape. So as you can see here, we're still using the same building method, but for each column, we're going to place down one wooden plank. And directly on top of the one wooden plank, we're going to put down one half slab. And once the columns on this layer are in place, once again, we're going to take out our glass blocks and we're just going to connect up all of the columns. But this time, the glass walls are going to be only one blocks tall. So as you can see here, in between each section, we're just going to place down three glass blocks like this. And at this point, you should be pretty familiar with the building process. And using the same method as before, we are just going to keep adding one more layer to these wooden columns for this level here. Each section is going to require only two glass blocks. 
All right, and here we are ready to wrap up this dome construction. And for this step, we are going to take out our dark oak slabs, and we're just going to connect all of the top layers of each one of these wooden columns like this. So you're going to end up with a cross-shaped structure like this, and you can really do anything to top off this structure. And in my case, I am going to add a second layer of half slabs that is going to create a similar structure. And to finish this up, I'm I'm just going to place down one dark oak fence at the very center of this dome and let's just make sure that this fence is connected to the rest of this dome here. And with that out of the way, this greenhouse structure is now complete. So that is all I have for this week's build tutorial for this greenhouse in Minecraft. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you have not done so yet. And this way you will not miss out on my future tutorials from my channel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.